Right, guys, just when you think it couldn't get any better, the monster of all monsters has been named. It's Monster. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shell, Donkster Born, but built for theme park factual entertainment and welcome to a brand new theme park newsroom update where today we're going to talk about Gronalund. Bish bash bosh bada bing bada boom. Gronalund is a theme park in Sweden, they're building this brand new Bulga and Mabillard inverted roller coaster for 2021, codenamed Blue Harvest, which I thought was not a good name anyway, but today we're going to be telling you guys the official name of of the ride as well as the surrounding area theme that they're going for so this is via an IAPA press release that we're going to be talking about from the owners themselves and we're going to show you these statistics hard word to say the statistics of the ride for those of you who missed all of our previous construction updates on this coaster but before we get started please like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video and don't forget 5,000 subscribers means we get paid memberships. 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year means we get official channel merchandise. So if you want to see me at the start of every video, dressed in a nice blazer or something if it's not too hot, being all corporate and things like that, saying if you want 20% off for Coaster Chow merchandise, use the code CHOW. Then you know what you have to do. Let's get into this video and let's talk about Monster. So before we talk about the stats for the ride, for those of you who missed it in previous videos, let's talk about this IAPA press release. So, it officially says, What happens when you have to close almost a third of your part for redevelopment while still keeping the business going and guests entertained? That's what Gronalund owners Matthias Banker and Johan Tistrand when, did when they embarked on an audacious project to bring a Bulgur and Mabillard, b &M, inverted roller coaster into the already compact amusement park on Stockholm's waterfront in Sweden. Monster is the name of the ride, fitting since the ride came with monster-sized challenges. The new coaster will feature non-stop thrills and an underground station when it opens next summer. At the time we thought, 2,000 square metres, 8 metres down in the centre of Stockholm, how hard can it be, he says laughing. The backstory for the ride is based on historical events. Stockholm's subway system originally included plans for a station on Jurgarden Island, where Grenland sits. And according to Grenland, the island's subway was abandoned under mysterious circumstances and only rediscovered during the park's redevelopment. A monster lurks beneath. Now, of course, this coaster, for those of you who need some statistics, has a length of 2,296.6 feet, a height of 111.5 feet, a speed of 62.1 miles per hour, three inversions, a zero G roll, a junior Immelman, and a corkscrew with another zero G roll as well. Uh, now, because Grona London is a rather small part, many rides close to each other or even interwoven, construction of Blue Harvest takes a long time. And the park does groundwork and construction during the off season usually, and then closes up the construction site slash pit so visitors can enjoy the park during the operating season. However, of course, with the COVID-19 pandemic, they pressed on and constructed this beast of a coaster. So that, my friends, is the name reveal and the area reveal. So the New York area is open in 2020 this year, so you can check out this New York-style area. But, of course, in 2021, you'll be able to see the brand-new Monster. Now, Monster's not the most inventive name. However, when you look at the history behind this coaster and why they've called it Monster, I can see why they've called it. Now, Monster has faced Monster Challenges, quite literally, and... You know, fair play to the owners, you know, they've been completely honest and said there's been loads of challenges, monster-sized challenges, you know, monsters are fitting name for it because of the monster challenges they face within this project, and, you know, I think that monster is definitely a decent name for this ride, given the challenges they've had to press on, you know, through, and... You know, this coaster is definitely an underrated addition for me. I think it will be one of the most underrated coasters for Europe next year. And I think that, you know, Gronalund really are pressing forward with this. And I think that, you know, I never thought I'd see the day a B&M invert would come into this park. But they found a way through it. And they found a way to do it. Now, if they just theme up that station really, really nicely to this underground station taken over by the mysterious circumstances with the monster lurking underneath you know and you're riding the monster out of the subway station and into thin air uh into the air of sweden 
I think you've got a really good project on your hands. And I think that, you know, this is going to be great. It's been great to follow the construction of this. Uh, in terms of the latest updates, you know, there's been a, a bit of chat construction, a little bit of updates here and there. Not massive updates, but just some, you know, little updates here and there. But, you know, I think the main construction work of the chat will be, you know, conducted uh, once the park is finally closed for the season. And uh, we get to see the construction work take place during the off season with the rest of the track and of course testing the ride as well. So the aim is still 2021 for this brand new coaster and you know to be fair I won't put them past them to open this in 2021. So I think this is going to be a great addition for the park, great addition for Sweden, great addition for Europe because there's a lot of underrated parks in Europe that have got B&M inverts uh, that's really boosted their park uh, you know, income. Park Asterix 2012, Osiris. Uh, the B&M invert there, that was a big project for them and of course that led them to introducing many new attractions in the future like Pegasa Express and of course their brand new Intamin multi-launch coaster for 2023. So of course, you know, inverts do become the, 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 the first signature rides for theme parks across Europe and around the world so to give them the, the, the willpower to push on and invest in more of these new attractions. So. You know, Groenland's already a jam-packed park in a confined space, so maybe this inverter coaster will be the start of something completely new for Groenland and a brand new era for the park and, you know, things like that. And obviously I read on that article, um, they were, they were going to do some filming there for a film based on, like, the how, how the park came to be with Swoon. That's the name of the film, Swoon. And, you know, I read about that and I was like, what, what, wow, Grenelon's got some big stuff going on. They're filming a film down there. They've got this brand new invert coming next year. A lot of things going down at Grenelon next year. And they're pushing through this COVID situation with every last breath. So, big respect to the owners for that. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video talking about this brand new invert coaster for 2021. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chow. Keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.